Uh, welcome to this dance workshop as part of the Shooting Roots Virtual Summer 2020. Uh, my name's Callum, I'm a dance tutor with Shooting Roots, uh, and today I'm going to teach you uh, a Border Morris dance. Uh, I'm not just carrying this stick for fun. So uh, Border Morris uh, is a very old style of Morris dancing. Uh, it comes from the English-Welsh border, and it dates all the way back to around 1600. Um, but despite the fact that it has such a long history, there aren't actually very many dances from that time known. Most of the dances done these days were actually kind of written uh, in the modern age. But yes, uh, border morris dancing is often kind of, you see them around, they've got tatters and, uh, and, and sticks and they tend to be quite loud. The dances tend to be fairly simple and so they get kind of performed with a lot of energy. Um, so today uh, I'm going to teach you a dance called Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, it's a very simple dance. Uh, I learnt it from my Border Morris side, Wreckers Morris, uh, and they got it from Dartmoor Morris. Um, but yes, as I say, it's a very simple dance, uh, and for it you will need a stick, um, you will need some comfortable shoes, uh, and you're also going to need a partner. Uh, I have purloined my mother. Say hello, Mum. Hello. Um, but you don't need no partner just yet. The first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're actually going to look at the stepping. So the stepping all the way through this dance, uh, it's quite a simple step, it's a single step, um, which is what uh, in Border Morris we call it when we're doing a step hop. Uh, you may have done this uh, if you've been to a Kaylee and done a hornpipe uh, or something like that. Uh, and so it's very simple kind of step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. You go down on the beat. Uh, in Wreckers, my side, we start on the left foot, um, but you're doing this on the other side of a screen. So if you choose to do it the other way, I'm never gonna know. Um, the Wreckers Band have actually very kindly provided me with some music um, to do this dance to. Uh, so what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to play uh, some music. I'm going to play the music that we're going to do the dance to. Uh, and we'll do some stepping. Uh, and you should practice along with me. <laughs> You'll have noticed that all the way through that dance um, we had our sticks up on our shoulders like this um, and that's for two reasons. Uh, the first reason uh, is that it looks quite smart but more importantly uh, it's much safer that way. If you've got your stick kind of down by the side and you're dancing around you're much more likely to catch someone with it. So up here it's out of the way and it can't do any harm. Now we're going to move on to teaching you the figures for the dance. Uh, the dance follows a fairly simple verse chorus structure um, and so the first thing that we're going to do uh, is teach you the chorus. Now the chorus uh, is where you get to use your stick. Now hopefully you've got a stick about this size and if that's the case you want to hold it about halfway down. Um, later on in this dance you actually have to hit with uh, the, the butt end of your stick but uh, at this point we're just going to be using the top end. Um, so uh, throughout this dance you're going to be stepping the whole time um, but we'll just walk the chorus for the time being. So to do the chorus you face your partner, you're going to give three taps all the same way with your stick uh, and then you dance round your partner facing them the whole time until you're in the place where they currently are. So you swap places and then you do the same thing again. Three taps and swap. Three taps and swap. Once more, and you're back to place. So that's all it is. It's uh, you swap with your partner four times until you get back to where you started from. So what we'll do now is we'll do that with some music. <laughs> learnt the chorus to the dance what we're going to do uh, is we're going to teach you the the moves that come through the kind of verses if you like um, and the first verse the first move uh, is what we call a foot up um, so when the music plays you'll hear there's an introduction um, and as you're moving towards the end of the introduction uh, with the beat of the music you hear there's a kind of a five six seven eight and on the eight you're going to clash with your partner just like that. 
um, and then on the one, you start stepping. So on eight, you've clashed and you start stepping and you go forward for four steps and backwards for four steps. And on the fourth step on your way back, that's where the next kind of eight comes in the music. And so you'll clash with your partner again. You go forwards again for four and backwards again for four. And then you're into your chorus, which we're not gonna do because we've already done that. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll dance that with some music. So, um, we've been joined by Merrin, who's a rubbish dancer, but she is cute. Um, uh, and we're going to do the second move, uh, which is a back-to-back. -back. So, uh, we've done our foot up, and we've done our first chorus, sticking and dancing around each other. Uh, and at this point, we're facing each other. And for a back-to-back, -back, all you're going to do is you're going to dance round your partner, one at a time, uh, keeping your body facing the same way. Um, so, in this case, uh, Mum's going to go first. She's going to pass me by her right shoulder, go around the back of me, and back to place. Now, you see there I did a little bob forward, because it's quite quick in the music. So if you, as the person who's not moving so much, take a little step forward and a little step back, that just helps your partner get round in time. So mum passed me by the right shoulder, and then I'm going to go around her by my left shoulder. And what that means is that... Uh, what does it mean? If somebody's not back, you can still go. It means that if your partner's not back, then you can still go. <laughs> Older and therefore wiser. <laughs> um, and you do that twice. Uh, so, uh, mum's going to go around me again, pass me by my right shoulder, I'll take a little bob forward, and then I'll go around her by my left. You're so professional. <laughs> uh, so let's do that with the music. <laughs> So that was the back-to-back, -back, uh, and following on from the back-to-back, -back, we have another fairly simple move, uh, which is the swing. So, Border Morris is quite high energy, uh, and what that means is that when you're swinging your partner, you want to have a fairly firm grip. Uh, so in this swing, you're doing it with your left hand first, um, and you want to grab your partner nice and tightly around the waist. Your stick's on this side, uh, and so that means that you can swing nice and hard, uh, but without any kind of risk. Um, so you go round for eight with your left hand, and then back with your right hand uh, until you're back to place. Uh, it's quite a simple move, so let's do that one uh, with the music. <laughs> So we're over halfway there. But this is where things start to get uh, a little bit interesting. Uh, the next move is what's called Petronella. Um, and if you've done kind of any Kaylee or Contra, you might have uh, a hint that some spins are coming. Uh, but we'll show you exactly how they work in this dance. So as before, you're facing your partner. Um, and this is where you want your middle of your stick grip. So you can use uh, the butt end. You hit the butt and then the tip. And then you're going to turn to your left and end up so that your pair has flipped orientation to the other way. So we're going to turn to our left. And now I'm facing you and mum has her back to the camera. And all you do is that four times until you get back to place. So again, one, two, spin left. One, two, spin left. And one last time. And then you're back and you're ready for your chorus. Uh, so let's do that with some music. Uh, yes, it's very important not to trip over your dog and or bright orange ball when you're doing Petronella. That's a key risk. Um, so, we've come on to our uh, fifth and final move. Uh, this is called windmills. Um, and I suspect you'll figure out why. Um, so you're gonna take your stick in a slightly 
further down hold than you had for Petronella. And facing your partner, you're just going to do what we call windmill sticking. So with your non-sticking hand behind your back, you're going to stick up high and then down low. You want a nice big arm motion for this. Um, but because this is a little bit boring, at the same time, we're going to be traveling around each other. Doing your single stepping the whole time. You'll probably find uh, that you get round twice in the music, but if you're very quick, you might manage three. Um, Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's do that with some music. <laughs> That's basically it. You've now basically learnt the whole dance. There's only one more thing to say, uh, which is the very ending of the dance. Um, as you might have heard, the tune's kind of a little bit minor and a little bit spooky. Um, and so what Wreckers do when they're dancing this out uh, is you finish on a chorus, so you dance around each other uh, with three taps uh, in between. Uh, and when you get to the end, you all face up with your stick over your head, a bit like a weightlifter. Um, and then the music slows and gets sombre and you gradually lower your stick all the way down let's not do it no. until it gets to your waist uh, and then you leave then you leave your dancing area uh, and so that is Cuckoo's Nest um, if you want to go back now check any of the moves uh, we started off with some sticking uh, then we did the chorus then you've got your foot up your back to back the swing the petronella turns and the windmill uh, if you want to go back and check any of those now, uh, then please do. Um, but if not, I hope you will uh, join me and mum in dancing Cuckoo's Nest.
So, thank you very much for joining me for this Border Morris virtual workshop. Uh, I hope you had a really good time. I hope you enjoyed the dance. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to uh, Wreckers Morris for teaching me the dance uh, and to their wonderful band um, for the music that we've been dancing to. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Editing Callum Wood, of course, also like to thank his mum. <laughs>